Hello, my friends. Ahoy! We are about to have some fun here in our kitchen in the RV. I woke up this morning and the space heater was not working. It had tripped the breaker. Um, I tried making tea and it still didn't work. Cyrus went outside and did his magic and did what? On our unit, we have a GFI outlet, a GFI circuit that runs the outlets on this side of our kitchen. And that the main breaker for that is on the inverter, which is a pass-through inverter. And so just like any breaker in your breaker box, I went out and flipped that breaker. As I was still outside, Jen says, there's a sparks and a sizzling noise. <laughs> so I came in. She had sparks from trying to plug in the tea, the hot pot teapot, mm -hmm. and but there was still a sizzling noise. So we came over to where we'll show you in a minute, and I confirmed that there was a sizzling uh, electric, sizzling grizzling noise. Yes, and smelling of like Burnt burning electric. plastic or yeah, yeah, it had a weird smell. So so I ran out and I shut the breaker back off. Yes, and then we confirmed that the, to find the area where that was coming from. Over yonder way. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to follow Cyrus around as he explains how he's going to fix it. And I'm going to be extra thankful today that this happened while we were awake. And also that I have a partner who knows what he's doing. At least that's what I say. <laughs> so I'll give you guys a little heads up on what we found so far. What I found so far. So, um... Is this something you want to explain while we're while we're showing it? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> so we have right here is a slide, just a little cover that slides with the slide out that allows you to have access to the plumbing and some of the electrical. The noise that we heard was coming from right in here. Down here is a fresh water line, a cold water line rather. And you might be able to see that there's water on that. I shut the water off, but it's been dripping. You can see there's water on this water loom. And more importantly, I'll see if we can get this, inside this electrical junction box right here, you might be able to see that drip of water right there. And so that's where I believe we're having issues. Um, it's the logical thing. Aha! I found... I found where our problem is. What is it? I don't know why yet, but we'll get there. Okay, while pulling uh, the wires out to get this junction box out, I think I see where our problem is. And you can see that that wire is burnt up. I'm not 100% why yet, but uh, once I get it out, I'll be able to let you know. Okay, we're back here. So this is what happened. I got the wire pulled out of the junction box over here and you might be able to see that it's really wet. So that water leak was definitely the cause. Um, I don't know why this insulation is split here. Um, it's all wet in here. My guess is that the um, with heat, us using heater on this circuit and uh, who knows, maybe the insulation was a little chafed. Regardless, it arced, and I'll pull this open here. It started to arc, and the reason why we heard that sizzling was because the it was um, it, the electric current was passing through the water and heating this up and melting the insulation, kind of compounding, really. And um, yeah, so there's our there's our problem. So the next fun thing is to get this dried out, cut this out, and hope to God that I have enough room. I might have to move that junction box over. Um, I might have to move that junction box over, and hopefully I'll have enough room to still be able to mount this thing and not have to... Um, I don't have any more wire to pull through here, so I'm hoping that I have enough length to still to make this work and I think I'll just be barely able to do it like I said that's a little bit more work than I want to do so but at the end of the day we want to do it right so that our house doesn't burn down with us in it or our dog in it when we're not here 
pace to do things right. Done? Done. You farted on me. I did. I farted right on your butt. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited about it. How this is an opportunity I don't want to miss. All right, got lucky. Was able to cut back this uh, wire that was shorted, as you saw before, and slip the wire back through the junction box. Got everything wire nutted back up, and fortunately, after taking these clamps off, I might have to relocate these clamps right here. I have enough. I was thought I was gonna have to move this over a little bit, which would have been fine, but I have enough to get it back where it was. Um, and I'll just put some new new holes, probably like I said, for this clamp. So we're good. So I'm gonna put that back together, and then get to working on the shoddy water line repair. So what we got is a hot water line and we have a really fancy repair with hose clamps and like a rubber hose and it's no big surprise that's where it's leaking water is from from there. It's kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt. I'm hoping if I just take this off here I can this um, is the drain for the sink the kitchen sink. There's not a lot of wiggle room because it goes through that little cutout there. I already took out the drawer guide, that guy up here to access this. Um, but yeah, I mean, I could just tighten that down more and it probably would hold, but you know, that doesn't make for a good sleep knowing that that thing's going to fail again at some point. So that's the name of the game. Can I take these clamp off and get enough room to pull that pipe out and repair it properly? That's where we're at. Oh. She's sitting on a bucket. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> Alright, so I got my piece of I got my piece of PEX hose here. My water line. It even matches red for the hot water. Uh, so I cut it to fit in there. It's gonna be easier to crimp these two out here. So got these two crimps. Bot tie, bot tie. Got my crimping tool here. Just gonna take that, put it in here like so. Okay, so now that's locked in, and I'll make sure I slide on my other two crimp connectors here, crimp bands. My other two Shark Bite PEX clamp, half inch. <laughs> so I'll slide those two on the either side of the line, put this in there, clamp it down, and show you when I'm done. Okay, so we did it. I got uh, got that splice in there. Everything worked out well. Just had to take out the top drawer here so I can get my tool in there. Yeah, she's repaired. I'll turn it on for check for leaks in a moment. Hello from down here. Hey, so I just wanted to uh, point out to any of you uh, RVers or anybody who's doing home work, this is, our situation is the reason why you use a junction box and why they're to code. When this is a junction box right here, these things happen sometimes and it keeps it isolated if there is a, a loose connection or a short, whatever, where it can get hot and catch stuff on fire. This is not up to code. <laughs> I don't know who did this, but my hunch is it was done afterward. Uh, fortunately, that's not what's sizzling. But if that were to have an issue and get hot and catch fire, you know, you can imagine what would happen. So don't do this is what I'm trying to say. Um, it could be the difference of your life or your animal's life. That's all. Thanks, Cyrus. You're welcome. Next step is putting this in a junction box. I just, this is what I got. There may be something better, but it will work just fine and keep us from burning this unit down potentially. Looking good. <laughs> Not sure why they did that. Maybe it was from a previous repair. Okay, 
back we got this done here i got the wires routed up in there everything wire netted back the way it needs to be and then i got this here cover that may be a better option um, than this but uh i might just screw it into the wall i don't know it kind of hits right there honestly i don't give a dang if it's floating it's not going to hurt anything there's a panel that there's plenty of room when i take those nails out but I'll put this cover on here and then we're good to go. And she's all covered up in a junction box the way it should be not exposed. And that should do it. We're just going to put this on here and then um, I get to put everything back together. But first I'm going to go turn the water on, verify there's no leak, and call it a day. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful yes. in any way or maybe just enjoyed watching me struggle. So <laughs> that's cool too. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you for following along and subscribing. If you find yourself with exposed wires in your RV, make sure you take care of that so that you aren't in danger and potentially dead. And if you don't know what you're doing, uh, contact a professional if you're not not sure with wiring and electrical i am i'm trained i'm i'm a professional so i know what i'm doing um but it can obviously be pretty dangerous and yeah. so yeah all right well you know what time it is it's time, time to dance, to dance. Stay weird, friends. Stay weird.